वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड हैज सेंट एन एरर मैसेज सो वॉट इज दट द कनेक्टेड ए सी अडेप्टर हैज ए लोअर वेटेज दैन द रिकमेंडेड ए सी अडेप्टर विच वॉज शिफ्ट विथ द सिस्टम टू यूज ए सी अडेप्टर सॉरी ए सी पवर प्लीज कनेक्ट द ए सी अडेप्टर विच वॉज शिफ्ट विथ द सिस्टम सी एज ए लैपटॉप एंड हैविंग एन एरर सो इवन दो रिप्लेस ओरिजिनल वन then also you are he is getting the error so he is asking me what is this error and from where it has come see uh, here i am completing the type c section part by part okay so once you have seen all videos then only you come to know what is this exact error so he has sent a schematic so have a look at it what it contains see one major possibility is this port okay see thunderbolt 3.0 now it's 4 uh, or 5 i think so so thunderbolt 3.0 port a port b contains type c see before connecting the type c uh, adapter first you come to know what is this thunderbolt and what is the type c see type c has not separate uh, name it is a part of usb one of the usb it's a usb 2 by default so it may be 3 or 3.1 depending on uh, characteristics the cable functions see the thunderbolt has manufactured by intel okay lightning usb type c has manufactured by apple okay apple nowadays using thunderbolt port but no one windows uh, mobile or laptops are using lightning lightning is only usable for apple mobiles or uh, tablets in some cases see here type c has given what is the difference between usb type c thunderbolt and lightning that you have to understand then only you can clear this section thunderbolt uh, as i told you this is manufactured by intel this is nothing but a type c but more advantage port yeah, maybe 10 or 20 gigabyte speed you will get in this particular port if you are getting more speed the data transfer also will be very fast then the charging the bmc battery management system bms that also will be good if you see type c also nothing but a thunderbolt but it doesn't have the functionality of thunderbolt so thunderbolt can have the function of usb type c but not vice versa okay it has minimum speed depending on the cable okay see these two port has connected to power delivery pd first we need to check this pd what pd it has used its ic tps 6598 has used here so in this topic we will take a introduction part of this particular tps and what are the block diagram and what are the pins it contains those things we can discuss in pd i already explained you pd having total five parts we are we are divided as a five parts right one is ph5 physical layer second one is plug and orientation part third one is port once you connect the port switch which port has connected and the voltage next goes to power management power management and fifth digital core section
if you divide like this you can easily understand what is pd and what is the function of this particular pd so now we'll go back to the schematic okay the ic which i see this one tps 65988 the page number 102 so i'll move to page number 102 102 see this one is I see so by seeing what you come to know what is there inside this see you are unable to understand what are these what are these and what are these so this is the reason I divided part by part to understand easily see this one is PDIC the main section CC1 and CC2 these are two ports see TBT Thunderbolt TBT Thunderbolt second one is USB C port this one is USB C port this one is Thunderbolt port see that is a connection this one is physical layer first one second one is cable connectivity plug and orientation CC1 or CC2 which side it has connected that is the one ok see that one through capacitor it has given to the ground here USB type C if you are connecting your USB port to the USB type C then this signal will go to the particular IC this is the input section next see the data plus and data minus this one for CC1 CC1 in the sense it's a thunderbolt one CC2 USB 2 it contains two type C one is thunderbolt other one is USB 2 oh sorry USB type C normal one see both positive and negative as given the pull down register through the pull down register the value of pull down register already explained it's RA and RD pull, pull up register also I explained the third one which I told you know that power port section see this is the power port PP section this one will switch which power port it has connected PP1 or PP2 cable that according to the thunderbolt or USB type C next power goes to the IC particular IC this is a ADC in power supply in then this one is power out using GPIO power out having 20 volt section see next it's a PD GPIO pull down register is there GPIO sections what they are used here thunderbolt high power hmm? delivery USB this one is USB C this one is thunderbolt terminal this is discharge part USB TBT DP mode discharge 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 okay here I to C clock and data here is the data and clock I to C I to C 1 I to C 2 and here is the BIOS part 31 32 33 34 here TBT BIOS C thunderbolt bias it will support thunderbolt bias and here is the reset pin so anything else here hmm. see that one I have given just general instructions what it contains bias which I told it has connected to this hairpin pin what it is that also we will see in next chapters so now this is a bias actually see the TBT CSDO hmm? clock see clock DI LDOPD this is bias section see in a previous video I have showed you 13 CSC me onwards the PD bias started hmm? here 1 MB 150 ML MIL IC has installed see windband micron ok any one of uh, bias IC will be there that, are, that one 150 mil it's a very small compared to normal bias ok 
now which i explained you this one so we can check the basic diagram of the particular ic section see as i told we can divide pd ic in five parts that one is pd controller number 1 this one is pd controller layer physical uh, ph5 okay physical layer next one is cable plug and orientation so which side it has connected straight to straight or it's a down side cross one third one is port switch after connecting the cable the port switch how it will take see it's a pp hmm? port power through this port power two mosfets switching will be there then v bus we will get v bus 1 and v bus 2 because it contains two ports okay next the fourth one power management circuit so how the power will generate it's a 20 volts or 5 volts or 15 volts whatever it may be it's a depends on power management it will generate next one digital core the digital core final section it has to connect to particular ics see here it will support i to c it's embedded uh, system on kind of embedded system it's i to c port 1 port 2 port 3 this particular ic having total port 3 but the in the schematic only port 2 has given port 1 and 2 has given hmm, as you utilized and spi see here spi clock mosi miso this one i already explained in previous videos spi this one is bias section so it has bias so don't forget in bias you can disable this type c hmm, at any time this one is oscillator section thermal shutdown temperature sensor so it will control the thermal sensor thermal shutdown and oscillator also okay this pd digital core so now the basic function black diagram of pd see pp power switch power port high voltage one if it is connected we can get v bus one the same pp2 if it is connected then v bus 2 we will get here is the ph5 section and its cable orientation how it has connected and here is the power management so detect and advertisement depending on the cable that usb data positive and negative and next here is the power management actually so this one is connected to bidirectionally to the core section core and other digital see what digital functions contains this one is in input two inputs okay remaining bidirectionally connected to this i2c 1 2 3 sdacl irq in bias we can see this irq section and spi see this bias one bias program in this one is bias section and spi see this bias one bias programming clock ss miso mosi okay we can go to the schematic section here we can see see first one what it is it's a pp line is there any pp line yes it is see pp hmm? adc in see adc in here cc1 and cc2 here cc1 and cc2 it contains usb positive and negative see usb positive and negative if you come down here it's a positive and negative and here i2 c1 i c i c i2 c2 i2 c3 here how many c c1 c2 it utilized only c1 and c2 in this particular motherboard see one it's a thunderbolt it's normal type c okay and here is the bias section here having the bias section uh my friend maybe you are uh, you are facing this bias issue i think so maybe bias chip may be the problem or this particular bias you need to replace it
then only you come to know maybe you have done the main bias but not phy bias phy also you need to replace it then you can avoid the particular error okay here is the very simple i mean little bit complicated and confusion also topic so in next topics we will continue this and in depth we will go okay what is that bias section what is the gpio section and where it has connected tbt now you understood thunderbolt usb c it has two connections two type c cables and also it has bias so in coming videos we can come to know how this 5 volts the pp line converts to v bus 20 volts in deeply okay that's it so we will see in next chapter thank you thank you very much